Hi civil engineers, welcome to another session in my world channel. This channel is actually the first civil engineering videos. And today's topic is brief explanation of mechanical couplers making process and its uses in building construction and the various tests and IS codes to be followed for its making. And uh, today's topics are what is a coupler when it has been used for lapping and what are the testing methods what are the codes you have been making what are the process of threading to reinforcement bars and what are the uses of couplers uh, these are the topics we have to discuss in this video and what is a coupler a coupler is a cylindrical thing which is having a inner threading which is used to join the two rods or the reinforcement to a lapping of steel and why couplers are used in construction in order to decrease the cost of steel lapping and to decrease the steel scrap or wastage and the speed of the constructions has to be achieved it costs effective and economical in large and massive constructions and it is a time saving of the project and as shown in this figure uh, the top sh the figure shows the cross section of the coupler which it has firmly attached to the rod and the bottom is the fully finished after fitting the raw after fitting the coupler to the rod and what are the different types of the connections we are using and this is the normal type in which uh, the coupler has been fixed to the one rod and the and the rod has to be screwed into this coupler and and I have to tighten tight it and next is extended screw third type it is uh, it is used in beams and in this type we have to first fit the coupler to the one of the rod and it screw to and we have to screw it to the first rod so that it will attach it to the firmly and the next one is pros and cons screw to the type in this process two rods has to be inserted at a time and the coupler has to be ro rotated to make it tight and by tightening it will get bonded and the next one is a different diameter type this is usually used in the steel reduction uh, while going to the upstairs where the steel has to be reduced uh, in that type we, we will use this type of rods for different diameters of type and as shown in the figure this is the actual uh, coupler and the rod we had fitted already one rod has been fitted to the coupler and the an next rod has to be screwed screwed inside that to make it a joint and there are different uh, uh, different types of couplers used in this depending upon the die rod from starting from 12 mm to 32 mm onwards the as shown in the figure this is a 32 mm coupler which is having a length of 75 mm at 3 inches this will be tightened to the rods for joining uh, for joining purpose and this is the cross section we are showing here uh, the two rods have to be contacted firmly to transfer the loads from the uh, one rod to another this is the extended screw type of threading which have which the process has been completed and staggered for its uses in column in columns and beams What are the IS codes used for this? As per IS 1617 to 2014, high cyclic phatic test to be conducted on the coupler was to note the actual quality and performance of the joint on long term when, apply, when load is applied. As low cyclic test, load test, slip test, and tensile test are mandatory to meet the IS 16172 standard. In coming to the process of threading, it starts with the bed formation uh, or staging. This is useful for the easy movement of rods for the threading process. Generally, it would be equal to the height of the machine for easy inserting of the rod for threading process. Now, we will sh we'll know how the process of reinforcement burning is going on. And uh, here, the stage uh, stacking of the bars has been done for the easy rolling and the easy movement of the bars and this is the mission user for this threading process the bars are arranged on the bed to start the process and this requires a skilled technician who is performing this work 
because the that the utmost care has been taken for each and every rod while the threading is is doing and this machine has the four main components first one is the vice uh, to hold uh, this is used to hold the bar firmly or tightly and the second one is the reamers which is the which consists of two parts and the front side consists of the shaving blades which is used to trim the cross ribs on the reinforcement bar and the inner rollers a set of three rollers inner side starts to compress the bar and starts threading and the last one is the motor which is mounted or supported on the rollers for the to and fro movement for shaving and the threading process of the bars once the rod is placed in the vise and tightens it he moves the motor to and fro for the shaving of the ribs for three times and then starts threading it now he will tighten the rod and he will now shave the outer outer ribs which is which which is used for the grip purpose and after all the ribs have been shaved he will start so threading he will start threading now he he will start threading and the machine is moving in forward direction that is clockwise direction so forward threading has been completed now it is moving in backward direction so the uh, the threading is completed when it comes back now the threading has been completed and he is removing the rod and place it in into a set and he is inserting a new rod once uh, once the rod has been completed now he is showing that how the couplers will fit the rod he is is tightening to the he is tightening uh, tightening the coupler to the rod and uh, once uh, once uh, we will fit the fit the coupler to the rod it will hold tightly and we it will not come easily because there, there is a lock provided at the end of the each uh, threading now see the coupler i am showing you and this is the coupler of 32 mm dia see the inner thre inner threading which is uh, each and every threading is of u shaped why why it is in u shaped because u shaped gives the more contact area and the more contact area so that the threading of the rod and the threading of the coupler holds firmly and gives the extra strength and it is uh, it would be easy to transfer the load from the top rod to the bottom rod and this is the process the so on continuous and each and every rod it takes about 45 seconds to complete one rod see the process he is showing us the use of the ribs is to is for the grip to hold the raw perpendicular rods and the stirrups firmly to the reinforcement so that it will not move in which uh, different stages has been showing the first rod has been the ribs has been trimmed and the threading has been done and the finally the coupler has been fitted and coming to what are the uses of couplers why the couplers has been used and what are the uses and coming to that cost shaving against lapping is the first and the continuity of the reinforcement bars and no congestion of the bars has been required and construction cycle time is mostly reduced steel wastage reduced staggering of bars not required allows full ductile elongation and easy to install and broad cross section area is not reduced and this is the final product which uh, the process has been completed and staggered staggered there for using and this is the another type uh, which has been the coupler has been fitted to the each and every rod and this will be directly mounted on the uh, on the existing rods uh, on the existing rods and these are the different diameters which are, which is ready to 
used in the construction site and this is the uh, rollers which I earlier I had show, I had told you these are the rollers which is used for uh, used for threading of the rods this will a set of three rollers which starts compressing and starts threading and uh, this is the uh, these are the sides which uh, which these type of couplers has been used for the most effective and economical construction and these couplers has a wide range of uses in the construction industry like call uh, it has been used in columns beams piers uh, and foundations etc uh, there is no restriction here for these couplers we can use it in the same line at the same cross section and many of the constructions now are using these couplers to make it the to make it cost effective and economical so friends if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel in the next video i will show you the cost analysis for lapping versus couplers so thank you this is harish shining off bye